In the next year, there'll be 600,000 deaths from cancer in the United States, and that just has to stop. And the problem is, is that over 70% of cancer deaths happen for cancers that we can't screen for. She's no stranger to Fox 17 Morning News, highlighting women's health issues and offering advice. Well, now we're sitting down with Dr. Diana Bittner to talk about a groundbreaking test called Gallery that could fill in the gaps of cancer screening and why she jumped at the chance to take it. Women, we can only screen for three cancers, cervical cancer with a pap smear, breast cancer with a mammogram, and colon cancer with a colonoscopy. In men, we can add prostate, and um, for some, we can screen for lung cancer. So there's not that many cancers we can actually screen for. A cancer diagnosis can be life-changing. The earlier it's found, the better. So what if you could take a test screening you for more than 50 cancers? Dr. Bittner says it's possible now with the new test called Gallery that searches for cancer all over your body. This test was discovered very interestingly because um, there are blood tests to screen for chromosome abnormalities in unborn babies. When these blood tests were being done, the researchers in the lab saw that there were these signals coming up of cell-free DNA. The breakthrough led to Gallery, a simple test that can provide critical information in just a couple of weeks. Blood is drawn and sent to a Gallery lab where it's looked at for that cell-free DNA, which is then sequenced to look for cancer signals. If it's a negative signal, it has a good predictive value that there is no cancer. And if there's a positive, positive value, then that means that it needs to be investigated further. The signal not only shows that there is likely a cancer, but it also shows where in the body it's coming from. Here's who could benefit from such a test according to Dr. Bittner. Those who have a previous cancer history, those over 50 as the risk increases as you age, those who may be at risk due to lifestyle and a special group. This is where for me this gets very personal. One that Dr. Bittner is a part of, those who may not know their family history. I know some of my genetic information. I know my birth mother's side. I don't know my birth father's side. And so I have a lot of questions about what could be there. Adopted through Bethany Christian Services at just two days old, Dr. Bittner was able to reconnect with her birth mother before she passed away, but still wanted some answers. I don't want to be limited by cancer. And so because there's an unknown risk in my past, I want to know everything I can do to screen for potential cancers that are coming. Dr. Bittner took the test last month, relieved to receive a negative result reassuring she's doing everything she can to lead a healthy life. I am so excited about where life has taken me. I am engaged to be married to a wonderful man. He has four children. I have three children. We just have an exciting life ahead of us. And for those worried, the test could open Pandora's box. Dr. Bittner says not knowing may be more dangerous. Knowledge is power. Um, if we find a cancer early, then we can likely treat it. Not only does it improve chance of survival, it reduces the risk of spread to other organs, again, making it much more difficult, but it also reduces the burden of treatment. So important to point out that this test is not covered by insurance and it's not yet uh, FDA approved for this indication. It'll cost you uh, roughly $900. You can talk to your doctor to learn more if you are interested. And keep it right here for our next hour of Fox 17 Morning News where Dr. Bittner will be here in studio where you can dive deeper into what these test results can mean for you. It's so interesting. And it she's really been talking is. about this test for a number of weeks, yes. too. Yes, so. and it really sounds groundbreaking. Imagine yeah. the answers that people can now have because, as she mentioned, you can only screen right now for three right. cancers. Yeah, so many out there. Yeah. All right, Janice, mm -hmm. thank you.